Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. You know, going for some good trades, farming up until they get... Oh, power. Uh, Dindin is just fighting King in here and King is just dead. Um, that's first blood to Dindin. Um, I really want his Jax only improves as the deaths come in, right? Uh, so... One kill and zero deaths is just completely uncharted territory uh, for Dindin. But looks to be pretty great new look. And it's going to be the Grubs going over to Lucid and the be in Nongshim's hands if they don't fall behind. And right now, absolutely fine. They are just, just cruising. As Shockwave is going to come on through here. Showmaker taking a bit of damage. But it is mainly just a trade as the chain's going to land. There's the flash forward, and Showmaker picks up the solo. So well played, and Kwame had to... Kwame gets to... Oh, never oh. mind. There's Magnus Storm towards the bottom side of the map. Lucid collects two of them. Jiwoo's going to go down. Lucid can tank for days, but it's Kellen that's the one that holds onto it. And now Lucid just continuing to herd uh, Orcs, and it's working out really, really well. It's a double for aiming, and deep block. Does have Call Me here though, Man Protect going to be there. Showmaker, he's done this one before. Uh, Jiwoo getting electrocuted, doesn't like it. Um, not something that we'd expect very many people to like. As oh Redford. my goodness, he just explodes! Wow. Calculated here by Showmaker. And it just feels like the pressure already is suffocating Nongshim. Jiwoo is next to his mid-tier one and that wasn't enough. Uh, well, Peter is going to ult, but that's not going to do anything. Uh, that's another kill for aiming. He's on a killing spree now. Man, this really went from zero to 100 very, very quickly. Uh, as yeah, there's another one. That's that's a that's a killing yeah, spree of solo kills. We can't do we can't do replays anymore. Um, so obnoxious when you're behind. There's just nowhere safe to really stand. As Peter learned very clearly. <laughs> I feel like you can see in the player cam as well. Unfazed. Yeah. Just relentless. As well, it is a cloud solo game as well. Heck yeah. All it took was getting reverse trapped by um, Okay, Peter is... Uh, that's uh, that's that's the first assist that yeah. Showmaker has shared with his team. He doesn't look perturbed. He's actually going to hit that Q this time around. Finds the second one as well. And they're... Oh, oh actually cancelling a bit of the damage there, unfortunately. But he's still following after Call Me. Well, then they're coming on through. Finds that knockup. But there is a Command Protect there. And the rest of T+, oh, no. they're going to the turn TV. up. Oh, no, Tindin! He didn't expect the entire team to turn up! And there he goes, aiming going to collect that kill. And there's some bug that just left. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, there's another Magnus Storm to come through here as Call Me. Oh my goodness, three man stun. Pretty nice there by Lucid. Not a whole lot of follow up here though. It's, oh, I, never mind, I may tell a lie. As Shremaker does take a lot of damage. That is red and white guns available here as Kellen is going to get pulled back. There's some fish food on the floor. And Jiwoo picks up his first king and also these chakrams starting to build up. But unable to take down Kingen, but now with a Rift Herald, they are going to be able to take their second turret of the game. And Nongshim are not out of it just yet. They'll get another crash. The monkey going to ride Shelly into this one as well. Yeah, they do need to be a bit careful though. Get the towers good, but they've now lost those 20 million chakrams that we saw, yeah. honestly, which is... I think we've all had that moment. Oh, um, Shermaker could be in trouble here as Sylvie just needs another order. That is 900 gold. And Baron being considered, although Nongshim were doing the right things in the mid game. He can't drop the ball though. You have to really keep that pressure up as aiming. Oh no. Uh, he'll find Dindin, and I have a feeling Dindin may die. Um, this is. Yep. And it occurred. Am I a prophet, or was it just obvious? Uh, I think that. And the game. Well, it so is definitely the Drake. They are going to take that one. Oh. All right, well, Shomika sees the teleport coming in, knows that this Baron has been started, and Lucid and Aiming are going to book it towards the Baron now. Shomika turns up. They know that they're on the clock for this one. That is a big tidal wave hitting onto four. The teleport to come in as well as Kingen's looking to show up, and boom goes the dynamite. The Baron is going to go down as well, and it is an absolute disaster. You respect the attempt, oh! but my god, is it a massacre! There's wow. Kingen, by the way. We found him. That was sick. That was such a sick combo. Nongshim. Oh, that's what you got to do. But that combo at the end, that was clean. Lucid secures the Baron, secures the triple for Kingen, and now it uh, looks like he's going to secure the Nexus as well. Yeah. A little bit of hope, and it very quickly dissipated. It was very dash. The Nexus turret number two going to go down. The Nexus two follow. D-plus managing to make 
The Lucian Nami work into the Melio. Yeah, there's a few kills towards the end. Peter goes uh, grey screen just for a moment, but only for a moment because the game is now over. D plus with game one in the series. I haven't seen one all year. Um, I mean, I think Seraphs is in a pretty good spot right now, better than it was for a while. Um, you know, honestly, I haven't seen much Cassidin. Oh, dearie me. It's a level two Cassidin, surely. Surely they can't make this work. Well, in comes Lucid. Let's see what they can actually get done here. As he does get a little bit of a crash down, finds the stun. There's the flash. There's the flash forward, and that is Showmaker picking up first blood. Oh, dear. Formi manages to get away, and, you know, so slick makes it look like it's just a rotation for Dragon. But they and might get challenged on this. Exactly. Seismic Shove is going to connect onto Lucid as in goes Showmaker. He has level 6. That should be a dead Sylvie. Yeah, Showmaker going to collect his second. And now he's Rift walking further forward. The Piercing Light, actually a lot of value onto 3 there. Not able to chase them down, but that should give the Drake over to D+, even though Lucid doesn't have very much health. And it's going to be... A lot of people to start the split, this was the big question mark. It's like you're finally separating the Canyon Showmaker duo that has been so revered. Yeah. Uh, and so f good. Yeah, but one is definitely more not good than the other, so we'll have to see what it ends up being. Uh, it looks like they're making a play towards the top side, so finally getting some value to that Talia, making a move. Yeah, Kingen does know exactly what's going on with that control ward, but there's not a whole lot he can do about it. Teleport available for Showmaker. He is going to pop it here. He did just want to get that cooldown, as it turns out. So not going to be able to grab any kills or anything, but ulti out from Kingen. Just to avoid that. Uh, going to be a Mountain Soul, which, you know, it's it's definitely fine for D+, but I definitely think if there was a Hex deck, I think the game would really feel rough. Just know the interactions. You know how uh, Seraphine's... Uh, I'm going to hold this thought. Yeah, Colmy might be dead. There is a Flash Shattering Strike, and Amy getting a fair bit of damage down. That is going to be that. And yep. Colmy is just... So it's very different dynamic. It's like uh, a bad parenting mid-game, you know, doing yeah. things and no consequences. Uh, as Teleport to come forward, maybe we'll find some consequences here. As Dungeon wraps around, but there is a ward there, as we know. He's going to blast going his way over, and Kingen also looking for that flank angle. Both top laners There's trying to find their way in as in comes Call Me. That's a Weaver's Wall just to close the gap, though. It's not going to break up the team fight or anything like that, but Lucid's going down very, very low. He could still secure this Drake, but I don't know how much more he's going to be doing, and they do decide to back away. There's the ulti, flashes in! They do find the Drake, but can Nongshim get anything more as Kingen gets into the back line once again? Lucid's still alive, and Showmaker is just destroying them! Jiwoo's in trouble, there's the flash forward! As they lock that one down, it's a double here, as Showmaker will just wipe the floor with them now. That is what Cassidy does, and he's teleporting straight into the top lane. Yeah, I mean, he just butchered them. It felt like the initial fight, you know, we saw... Onto, uh, onto Lucid. That could have been everyone Ilua. caught in that Magnus Storm. That... <laughs> it's just... No, yeah, this is classic having fun, Showmaker, and we've missed him. To be Halfway to level 15, sorry. Oh, this is and good. he has the free level up soon. Uh, okay, Nature's Grasp to come forward. There's Call Me as well. They're looking for a target. Let's King is now. wrapping around though. Lucid just, it feels like he's immortal. Finally, he will go down, but is it actually going to mean good things for Nongshim? They trade one for one. Sylvie survives. That's probably best case scenario. They're on the ball. And the, uh, the Moonstone will be feeling like he can also uh, heal the rest of his team as aiming. Oh. Does find you. There's a flash forward, and oh my goodness, that is your wife, Lucian. My gosh, that was a lot of damage. Uh, hey, Sylvie has to flash away. That's a troubled marriage. <laughs> that is a troubled marriage. Uh, this has not been the case. In this There's not been a lot of stalling. It's no. like, we're good and then we'll be even gooder. Yeah. Um, that's the theory. Oh, Kasten's level 16 and you're going to start a Baron? Well, I think that's a pretty good... I think that's a good call. I think that's a wise decision to go for. I think Nongshim may say, enjoy your Baron. We're not going to be able to do anything about that. That is precisely what oh, they're going to do. There's a dragon up. They could pretend that they can do that. Uh, but Showmaker's coming. Oh, no. Call me just dead. He is uh, very dead. Here is the demonstration of the level 16 that Showmaker does have. Playing with his food a little bit here. And does just take him down with yep. the final Rift Walk. Yep. That one's well and truly stacked up. And, yeah, D+, plus. it is just about killing a few of these structures. Ah, uh, Showmaker limit testing here and uh, hasn't found it yet. No limit uh, has been found. Um, down to 50% health. And still just fine. Gonna look to go back home. We'll teleport back in. We'll see what all of the items in the universe.
And they're just knocking on the front door of Nongshim here. I just don't, they don't have an answer. I honestly feel like, uh, yeah, you're going to have to let Mid inhibitor go. They're going to try to clear out the wave top. But I think Showmaker can honestly, if he stacks up his, his Rift Walk, can just one-shot a Squishy. So we did just see that. Yeah, uh, Jiwoo did kind of, uh, yeah, get destroyed. Then they're going to get pulled back. And the Nature's Grasp does nothing really to stop them as there's the Flash Magnus stop. Oh my goodness, call me! Just erupts. It's a double kill so far for Showmaker. And now he gets oh. into that backline. Make it a triple, make it a quadra. And here is the Penta kill for Showmaker. The first week it's aiming getting one. Second week it's Showmaker and D. Plus. They are, yeah, they may have dropped the ball a bit against KT, but they look like dynamite here today against Nongshim. That was not even close. What a day from Showmaker, honestly, you know, a player. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.